There are people in most countries who would like to live in the Republic of the United States or the Dominion of Canada where that good Olga coal is sold. The citizens of our free countries are the envy of many people elsewhere because of the personal freedom which we have enjoyed. Why, then, doesn't every country adopt a form of free government? One answer is that, unfortunately, there are people and parties in many nations who are so greedy for power that they will sacrifice the freedom of their fellow countrymen to obtain power for themselves. History, even recent history, is replete with such instances. That is why the citizens of the Republic of the United States and the Dominion of Canada must be careful to recognize at its very beginning any movement to steal or limit their freedom. That is not always easy. The man who would enslave a free people doesn't begin by saying, now I'm going to be your dictator. Instead, he probably will claim that he is a devoted supporter of personal freedom, but all the while he will support policies that weaken and undermine personal freedom. Such a man will deny any totalitarian aims, but free citizens must not be deceived by such denials. Apparently, it is a cardinal principle of every sincere totalitarian that he is justified in lying, if such lies will advance his plans. In these times, no public figure and no party or organization supporting such a person can be accepted without careful consideration. Every public figure and organization must be carefully scrutinized, and if their real aims are to limit or to destroy our freedom as individuals, they must be opposed and defeated.